Good afternoon. This is Dr. Desmond Wright from the Desmond Wright Get Show and Liver Center. Today I want to answer some questions that from uh, some of the readers uh, on my YouTube channel. They ask me about something that are very fundamental to them. They ask, can hepatitis B be cured? Uh, it really depends on how we define cure. Okay. Of course, in the layman term, cure means when we have a problem, uh, then the problem resolves and the problem doesn't come back and there's nothing related to that. For instance, if I have a dengue fever, I recover and I don't have any more dengue after that and then I'm cured of the dengue. Of course, I can get it again in the future. So the, but there are many diseases that we cannot be cured. For instance, we, love, we now learn that after COVID infection, people can have a long COVID syndrome. 10-20% of them may have some tummy pain, feeling tired, cough, cannot sleep, palpitation, diarrhea, etc. etc. So some diseases just cannot be cured. How about hepatitis B? Uh, we now believe that if you have hepatitis B, it cannot be completely cured. The reason is that when we uh, treat a patient with hepatitis B, even uh, when we define hepatitis B as positive hepatitis B service antigen, uh, for more than six months, if they have hepatitis B service antigen positive, even when we treat them and they change to hepatitis B service antigen negative, we call it at HBS antigen zero conversion. In the past, we told patients, oh, you are cured. But in real medical terms, we actually say that you can't be completely cured. We call it a functional cure. A functional cure means you are probably going to be free from complication, but not 100% complete. So if your question is, can I be cured from hepatitis B? I'm sorry that I may disappoint you to tell you that. Once you got hepatitis B, you cannot be completely cured of hepatitis B because even when the S antigen is negative in the blood, when we do a liver biopsy, we can still find the viruses in minute amount in the liver. But we got a functional cure because when they clear the S antigen in the blood, Normally, the liver inflammation subsides, the viruses level drop to a very low level in the blood. We can find it in the liver, but in the blood, the level is very little. Even in the liver, the level is very little. And the liver scarring normally becomes stable or they even improve and the patient feels well. And after that, the risk of complication like cirrhosis and liver cancer can be reduced by a lot. So, can we get a cure from hepatitis B? Answer is no. We can get a functional cure whereby all the markers may improve and the risk of future complication can be markedly reduced. And we define functional cure as the S antigen, HBSAG, from positive become negative. Now, what's the chance of that, what's the chance of that happening? I've, I've seen hundreds of thousands of hepatitis B patients. I do see some that cured of hepatitis B on a regular basis. Uh, based on medical literature, I told my patient and from my own experience that the chance of you having a clearance of the S antigen, i.e. the chance of you getting a functional hepatitis B cure is probably less than 1% a year. Less than 1% a year is very low, but it's still more than zero, so not so bad. Now, there's a few things that you have to be aware of even if you have achieved a functional cure. So if you have been having hepatitis B service antigen, you're infectious. You go to the blood bank, you do a blood test, they will, re they will reject your blood, they will say, Thank you for coming. Your blood has hepatitis B as antigen. We don't want your blood. Thank you very much. Okay, but once you have achieved a functional cure, your hepatitis B service antigen now become negative. However, we can still find minute amount of hepatitis B virus in your liver and also in your white blood cells. So even though you can you have achieved a functional cure, number one, do not donate organs or blood. Because if you donate a liver, you donate a heart after you pass away, you donate blood when you're still alive, to, you try to help another person, the blood as well as uh, the, the, the organ may still contain a little bit of the viruses. And you trans if you give to another person, the person that receives it from you may have hepatitis B infection. So we ask our patient that even when you clear the S antigen, when you achieve functional cure, uh, do not donate your blood or the organ. Number two, uh, is that the viruses live in my new amount in the blood cells and the liver, they are suppressed by my patient's own immune system. Yet, when the immune system is suppressed by whatever reason, typically by chemotherapy or they have a say HIV infection, when the immune system uh, is released, uh, is weakened by say chemotherapy or HIV infection, the hepatitis B can flare up. 
In other words, even if you have achieved a functional cure, the doctor tell you, oh, congratulations, you're not so infectious, your risk of complication much less reduced, you may still have a recurrence of hepatitis B, especially if your immune system is weakened. So uh, do take note. Yeah. So I told my patient, now you're cured and happy, but if you have to undergo chemotherapy for cancer, you need to undergo some immune therapy for say rheumatoid arthritis, come and talk to me first because we have to give you medication to prevent the flare from coming up. Number three is that uh, uh, the risk of complication, like cirrhosis and cancer, are markedly reduced. We no longer ask patients to come every six months to do us ultrasound and do an alpha fetal protein and do a blood test because the risk of complication is so low that a routine regular follow-up are probably not cost effective. That means you're going to screen a lot of people, spend a lot of money and you pick up very few complications. But yet the complication risk is not zero. It's actually more than zero. So once in a while I've seen patients with liver cancer and when I check with them, do the blood work, we found that they have had hepatitis B in the past. They have cleared the S antigen. In other words, they, they have achieved a functional cure for hepatitis B, but yet they can still develop liver cancer and liver cirrhosis, even though it's very rare. So I told my patient, maybe you don't have to see us on a regular basis like six months, but maybe a good idea to uh, a check with your doctor, your family doctor or myself, come once a year to do a blood test and a scan just to be sure nothing happened. And uh, if you do have symptoms, do come early and we check early. So going back to uh, the question, can hepatitis B be cured? Answer is no. Can it be near cure? Yes, we have can achieve a functional cure in less than 1% of the people. But even after you achieve functional cure, you still have to take note that you shouldn't donate your blood or the organ. You shouldn't, uh, uh, you should see me or see a liver doctor when you receive chemotherapy or any form of immune therapy. Uh, or um, you should still maybe see your family doctor for an annual checkup to be sure that you're not the unfortunate rare people that develop complication despite a functional cure. I hope you find it useful. This is Dr. Desmond Wine. Thank you.